हे व्हाट्सअप गाइड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज अजित एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय बैकपैक ट्रिप टू यूरोप इन दिस सीरीज आई विल शेयर ऑल माय ट्रैवल एक्सपीरियंस व्हिच आई हैड डन इन 10 डेज ऑफ यूरोप ट्रिप द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द ट्रिप वाज इन वेनिस लेट्स एक्सप्लोर अबाउट द सिटी ऑफ कैनल्स एंड हाउ टू गो देयर एंड व्हाट टू डू इन वेनिस लेट्स नो मोर अबाउट इट Venice is known as the city of canals people also call the city of water this city is surrounded by waters and this is the one of the oldest port city this city not only best travel destination in italy but also one of the best tourist spot in europe lots of people attracts to this city because of best picture spot and the unique locations Hello everyone finally i reached the dxp airport as all you know today my journey starts to europe and i'll be there 10 days i'll cover four countries 10 tourist places and 10 famous cities and lot more it was my first trip to europe that's why i was so excited and that's why two hours before i reached the airport one day before i did my online check in and that's why i direct moved towards the gate number I book my ticket in Emirates Airlines because there are three direct flights from DXP to Milan and Milan is the nearest international airport to Venice so for that I did not take any other flight and also if you want to travel then you can book your ticket from emiratesairlines.com and you can choose according to your time so that you don't need to take any connecting flight So finally I reached at C3 gate and it's now 2:30 245 boarding will start and um, till that it will be departure from here my flight was on time after 245 i started my boarding it was 7 hours of travel from dxp to milan Finally I reached Milano Italy airport and uh, now I'm heading towards my hotel and uh, I already just came out my immigration and today now time is just 9:40 and after that I will be take half an hour to reach my hotel and I will take rest today night and tomorrow morning I will go towards Venice then I came outside and took a train and moved towards the Milano city towards my hotel and I will be this there next 15 minutes and this is the super fast train and you can if you are trying to come here you can direct get the train from uh, the central and also you can terminal T1 you also get ticket so you can direct go to the Milan and uh, after that you can get the hotel and you can get the accommodation there before started my Europe trip I booked all the hotels from hostelworld.com because this site is one of the best site where you will find the cheaper hotels. If you are planning to travel alone, then it's better to choose your dorm type where you have to pay parcelly for that room. And best thing about the hostelworld.com is it is available almost all of the tourist countries. If you want to travel alone, also it is very safe for there. You can also cancel your booking at any time, but before that, you need to take the terms and conditions before which date to which date you can only cancel. And also, you can check the ratings. What are the hotels are giving the facilities? According to that, you can choose. So it's always better to book from hostelworld.com. Booking.com also another best site to book the hotel details. But if you are planning to travel alone. and frequently changing your location it's always better to book your hotel from hostelworld.com because you will get all over the places this hostels and it will be more cheaper than other hotels and when i reached to my hotel let us see and it's now time 10 after took my shower then i moved towards hotel kitchen to take my dinner the hotel where i am staying they have their own kitchen now i am at kitchen Uh, when I came from Dubai, I brought with for me halwa. So this is for my today's dinner. And very nice place. Whenever you come to the Europe, then you will find so many hotels. They have the common kitchens, so you can easily use their kitchens and you can uh, boil your uh, food 
works uh, at open or you can do something if you are there with the cash you can do many things if you want to keep your travel expenses within your budget then always fly with your back foot which is always help you at night time although i had ready to eat food but on that day i adjusted with my halwa uh, if you are staying at a hotel for three days you can make your own food and also you can keep your food and also you can cook yourself and if you have the food extra food then you can keep here so people will come and can take the free food so people like me who are roaming around and they cannot cook they can take this type of food you can use this type of thing but today i had food in next day early morning i reached the milano central railway station today is the last day in europe and now i am at the central milano railway station and it's time 7 Uh, unfortunately i missed my train which i booked online to venice uh, and i'm waiting i have to wait for the one hour to take my the next train and after that it will take 2.5 hours to reach venice and i will be remorom around the whole day and at 4:30 i have again train to tomo <laughs> usually people says your your trip is incomplete without missing the train and exactly same happened with me Vision was the very simple. I was not on time. So next time onwards, I was so conscious about my train timing. After 90 minutes of waiting, then I took the next train to reach Venice. And for that, I again paid 32 euros, which was the higher than my ticket, which I booked online. Now I got the train. Now I will take two hours to reach Venice. And I will reach my train 45. And I will take a long round. If you are planning to travel Europe, it's better to book all of your tickets online. Otherwise, on the same day you have to pay more, and on peak season the price will be more higher than the normal price. Before starts my journey, I book all of my train and bus tickets from OMI.com site because this is the one of the site where you can compare and can find your all of the tickets from here. If you are planning to go Europe, then visit to this site and book all of your tickets. You will get in cheaper price. If you are planning for a family trip to Europe, it's better to take the Euro Rail Pass because it will be more cheaper and convenient than other tickets. And also, by this ticket, you can travel from one country to another country within that day trains. So, for more info, you can visit to Euro Rail dot com. And after that, you can choose your plan within how many days you want to stay there. Both links I have mentioned in description. Before start your journey, you can visit there and book your tickets. Uh, now I just reached Venice Station. Uh, I'm going towards the uh, Grand Canals. And uh, the temperature is now it's the thirty, and time is now eleven p.m. Then I move towards the ticket counter to collect my ticket. You can also book your ticket from online, but I did not take any ticket, so that's why I collected from ticket counter to travel on water buses. Oh, just I got one day pass, and I can roam around the whole Venice this one day. And it is applicable for uh, the boats as well as the buses. And the most important thing is it is just outside of the station. Whenever you will come here, just collect your pass. Depends upon the how many days you will be here and what are the uh, opportunity you want to take. Suppose if you want to, um, you know, move towards uh, the well museum, and if you want to go to the other historical places, according to that you can select your uh, tickets. But I have to only roam around, so that's why I took only 20 euro pass. You can collect according to your what you need. feeling so thirsty so i entered to a supermarket to buy water bottle now moving to that scanner you can see i am just to cover one of for uh, bridge this is the home place you can find out more than 1000s of small and big bridges like this which add more flavors to the beauty of venice
hours of photo shooting. Then I started my journey on the boat. The beauty of Venice I can't capture only in my words. Few scenic moments I only captured in my camera. I'm outside port and I'm starting to go inside the city and I really like this, you know, this too. between the buildings and the water is flowing and that's why I came here. Uh, and really I'm actually feeling hungry. Um, as I'm now in Italy, so definitely I'll take the pizza. And if you are coming in Italy and you are not taking pizza, then you are eating people not cooking. Uh, the pasta, I don't like that much, but yeah, definitely I'll try it. Do you know Venice is drowning every year 1 mm to 2 mm, which is really sad? And due to this reason, half of population already left this place in last 50 years. After a couple hours of boat riding, I moved towards a restaurant where I was looking to eat a delicious Italian pizza. Now I'm at one of the restaurants and I'm looking what are the orders I can give for the pizza. Um, I like mushrooms, so this one I can give tomato, mozzarella, um, mushrooms. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I need this one, uh, tomato, mozzarella, um, mushroom. Seven. Yes, one. That's only. Yeah, one. Would you drink something? Uh, do you have any soft drinks? Soft drink. Soft drink. I have a Coca, Fanta, lemon Coca. soda. Coca. Coca. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. After long waiting of 30 minutes, the Italian delicious pizza was on my table. Then after without wasting my time, I started to eat my pizza because I was so hungry and pizza was so delicious. After completing my pizza, I entered the supermarket to check the fruit and the vegetable fries. But all fruits and vegetables fries were so high compared to Dubai fries. But 
one item was cheaper there and that one is now on front of your screen. As I am a non-alcoholic guy, I came there without buying any bottles. My return train from Venice to Milan was 4.30 pm so I decided to go to a church and do a prayer for a couple of minutes. This church name is Sam Simone Piccolo which is just opposite side of Venice station. After spent a couple of minutes there, I returned towards station because this time I didn't want to miss my train. This time I reached the station much before the time and then I entered to the train. I returned to Milan because I had a connecting train to Como. The next day plan was to spend in Como. Como is a very beautiful mountain hill station in Italy. Uh, just reached Milan uh, where I started my journey to work for Venice. After 15 minutes, I have another train to Como where I will stay the night. And tomorrow morning, I will roam around the Como. Uh, but before that, I just want to tell you that before I came to Milano from Dubai, I was thinking from Milan my temperature will be the less. But that does not make any difference between the Dubai and Milan temperature because it's the 30 and temperature is so hot. And I don't have any problem because uh, I have been staying with the same environment. Uh, but the humidity is also so high. Uh, after that, uh, I'll reach Como. I'll go to the by uh, taxi to my hotel and I'll do checking and uh, I'll take the rest. And tomorrow morning, I'll show you what are the places I'll visit. Now I just got the seat and it will take 30 minutes to reach from and I have 30 minutes time to sleep here. Uh, just I reached Como and I just came outside and I'm heading towards the bus stand where I'll take the bus and I'll reach to my hotel. Here almost local time 9 but sun is completely not set. Uh, I think some more time 9.15 will the run, uh, it happens at the sunset. And the beautiful uh, hill station is there, so tomorrow I'll explore more about it. But today I'm so tired, I'm waiting towards now my hotel. I'll do check-in and I'll take rest. So that's all I have for you in my first day of visit in Europe. In next episode, you will catch the heartbreaking Como scenic moments. And will introduce to all of you one of my Italian friends to whom I met seven years before on Facebook. And later episodes, I will share my Switzerland and Paris experience. So, guys, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it, then you will never miss out my videos. In next episode, I will come with the Como and then other episode. Stay tuned. Bye bye.